Hey everyone, welcome back to another video by Impulse RC. Uh, I'm Onigiri, this is my house, and today we're going to talk about the Micro Apex. This video is pretty much going to be a simple uh, presentation of the new frame by Impulse RC. If you're familiar with Impulse RC frames, you probably have heard about the Apex already. And this one is simply the little sibling of the Apex. It comes in a 4 inch version, which is this one but it also comes in a 3 inch version. As a scale comparison, this is about the size it would be, and that's the 4 inch. This one is not a full build yet, but uh, I built it in a way that you can picture what a full build with a 4 inch would be once you have motors and props on, so that, that would be about the size um, the 4 inch would be. And I have an open um, apex here that is a 5 inch. So yeah, that gives you an idea. <laughs> Today is really about the basics um, of this new frame, so let's start with the camera. As you can see, in this one I've put the uh, DJI uh, FPV system with the Cadix Vista. Both frames can fit this system and both frames can obviously fit any analog cameras that you've used probably in the past. In terms of dimensions, obviously 4 inch arms and 3 inch arms, depending on which frame you're going for, it's the same body regardless which uh, size of arms you're going for and um, all the arms are 4mm thick. The two bottom plates are both 2mm thick and then you have the camera plates and the top plates which are all 1.5mm thick. In terms of weight, um, the hardware and carbon fiber parts add up to 61 grams in the 4 inch and to 58 grams in the 3 inch version. They both come with two different LiPo pads so again, if you're familiar with the Apex 5 inch, it's the same. You have a squishy, rubbery version of the LiPo pads and then you have a lightweight, a little bit more grippy and thinner. So both LiPo pads come with your kit. On the 4 inch, you probably have noticed that I've put some race wires. Race wires had been created for the Apex 5 inch and they are also available for the Micro Apex 4 inch. So that's an option you can add when you decide to uh, build your uh, 4 inch Micro Apex. Just like the 5 inch Apex, it comes with injection molded parts. So the bumper at the front and the motor skits. And it also comes with some uh, injection molded protection for your ESC wires so it um, will fit on your arm just like this if you can see yes <laughs> finally maybe one more thing we can mention about this frame is the stack so the frame is designed to have double stack the first one in the center is a 20 by 20 and can fit uh, m3 or m2 screws and the one at the back is also a 20 by 20 stack and can fit M2 screws. So that's pretty much what we can uh, say today about this frame. Uh, we know we will have many questions about what components we advise, you know, uh, to, to, to fit in these frames. To be completely honest, there's many, many possibilities. It depends on what your goal is. If you want first off build a 3 inch or a 4 inch. Uh, if you want to build a sub 250 gram, feel free to ask some questions in the comments and they will be answered in the forthcoming videos that we're going to do about the Micro Apex series. So yeah, that's, that's it for today. Thanks for watching this video. The team is super excited about finally showing you this Micro Apex. You know, um, the team has worked a long time on it and uh, last year was a strange one so we're super happy that you know we can celebrate the start of this new year with the release of the micro apex we know a lot of people were waiting for it so that's a good thing for 2021 so yes thanks for watching this video we hope uh, to see you in the next one and in the meantime we wish you some happy flying have a good day everyone see you soon